a solemn atmosphere for family members, the military and the nation in mourning as reality kicks in over the loss of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Tahiru, and 10 other military officers on an ill-fated aircraft in Kaduna. Their remains in ambulances makes their way for the Islamic and Christian funeral services in the nation's capital, Abuja. After the service, poor bearers moved the coffins to the military cemetery for interment, where the family members, top military and government officials, as well as special guests are gathered to pay their last respects. silence is observed in their honor as the cleric who could hardly hold back his emotions offered prayers. <laughs> An emotional funeral oration for the top military officers is reeled out. As answered the call of his creator, his death is a great loss to, this, to his family, to the Nigerian army, and, and the nation in general. The Imam and chaplain proceed to conduct the interment witnessed by family members. The chief of defense staff, General Loki Rabo, pays tribute to his comrades. It was a sad day for the nation as I received with shock and utter dismay the gloomy news of the sudden demise of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and 10 other of our very gallant officers and personnel. The loss of our gallant, ebullient, energetic but calm Chief of Army Staff and other heroes of patriotic zeal and love for country is painful, but certainly not in vain. For President Mohamed Buhari, represented by the Minister of Defense, it is a sad and trying moment for the armed forces. It notes that the late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru and other officers were devoted to their service. He led the Nigerian army from the front and was a source of inspiration worthy of emulation by all officers and men of the armed forces of Nigeria. He will always be remembered for his dedication, commitment as a military officer, and his new, numerous landmark contribution to the Nigerian unity, peace, and security. He will be, he will be indeed missed, especially in the trying times of our nationhood. The representative of the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces presents flags to the next of kin of the officers. <laughs> Certainly the loss of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru and 10 top military officers will be felt significantly for their contribution in protecting Nigeria's territorial integrity.